Steaming's the new air frying, so I want to show you a very quick fish recipe that has loads of flavour and takes moments to cook. What I have here are two fillets of coral trout. Coral trout has a wonderful texture and it steams really well. If you wanted a different type of fish, snapper is a fantastic alternative. To this, I'm going to add some spring onions. I'll use the light and white part for the cooking. So we'll stop about there and then in our little dish that the fish is in, we'll sprinkle over our spring onions along with some ginger. So real Chinese flavours for this and I've just surely the ginger. Some garlic, just one clove of garlic and I'm just going to finely slice the garlic, about half for two and again just scatter that over this gorgeous fish. Great. To season it, a small pinch of white pepper and I'm not going to add any salt to the fish because I'm going to serve this with a dressing that has some soy sauce in it so that will season it but I will add just a very small splash of sesame oil at this stage it's going to give a really nice nutty flavor so a very small amount because it is quite strong and that's it no liquid required all we need to do now is place it into the air fryer that steams. So we're going to place that into the large capacity bowl. You can see all that steam is gathered in there. It heats up really fast. We'll close that and this is going to cook for about six to seven minutes. It really depends on how thick your fish is. So while that's cooking, let's get onto the dressing. Into a bowl, I'll add some honey. So we want about a teaspoon or so of honey, along with some chilli oil or chilli condiment. This one is one that I use in particular because it has crunchy peanuts through it and actual chilli flakes. So I love the texture of it. So a little of that. Mix that in. Some more sesame oil. Again, don't overdo it, just a small amount. And I'll bring the whole thing together just with some light soy sauce. So we'll just drizzle that in and mix that. And this dressing is going to be so good with our cold trout. Right, let's have a look at this fish. Oh, it looks fantastic. With fish, it tells you when it's cooked. It changes colour, it firms up. And just by touching it, you can feel, if it just bounces back slightly, you know that it's cooked. It's always better to undercook the fish as opposed to overcook it, particularly when you've got a prized fish like this coral trout. So I'm going to serve up one portion on some steamed rice. I've got some Asian greens here and we'll just let that rest on the top. And that really nice dressing that has a combination of honey, soy, loads of chilli, we'll just drizzle that over the top. Be quite generous with it. This is a dish that's not only super delicious, but it's really healthy and it takes moments to cook. Steamed fish or steamed chicken, it all goes really nicely with this dressing. So pop that one in your repertoire.